Hey, this is Presh Towalker reminding you to mind your decisions. A Chinese university entrance exam maths question leaves U.S. teacher stumped. That's according to the South China Morning Post. A U.S. teacher tried to solve a problem from this year's Gaokao, a Chinese college entrance exam known for its difficulty. To quote from the article, posts about the video have been viewed 140 million times on the microblogging site Weibo, and the video has been picked up by other Chinese news media. I was very interested in this problem, but there was an issue. The problem was written in Chinese and at first I could not find an English translation. I posted the problem to Twitter and I owe a huge thanks to two people who kindly translated the problem for me so that I could share it to you in this video. By the way, you can also follow me on Twitter at Presh Tollwalker. So here's the problem. The domain of f of x is all real numbers and satisfies f of x plus 1 is equal to 2 times f of x. For x in the interval 0 to 1, not including 0 but including 1, f of x is equal to x times the quantity x minus 1. For values, where x goes from negative infinity to m inclusive, f of x is greater than or equal to negative 8 over 9. What is the value of m? Is it 9 fourths? 7 over 3, 5 over 2, or 8 over 3. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So this is a very intimidating problem. Let's break it down step by step and get a real understanding of what the question is asking. So we'll start out with the most concrete information. For x in the interval 0 to 1, not including 0 but including 1, f of x is equal to x times the quantity x minus 1. Let's make a plot of this function. We'll go from 0 to 1 and let's graph what this function will look like. Well, x times the quantity x minus 1 will be a parabola, and it's going to go between the points 0, 0, and 1, 0. Now technically 0 is not included in this interval, but essentially the graph is going to go from 0, 0 to 1, 0. And we're just going to get a sketch of what this graph looks like so that we can get a better understanding of the question. Now the minimum value of this parabola is going to be right in the middle, and it's going to be an f of 0 0.5, which is equal to negative 0.25. So let's just sketch what this function looks like. I'm also going to put the function right here so that we can keep track of the function as we graph the other intervals. Now let's try and graph this function in other intervals. We know that f of x plus 1 is equal to 2 times f of x. Now we can evaluate a couple of points and we're quickly going to deduce that the graph in the next interval 1 to 2 will be twice the height of the graph in 0 to 1. We're going to shift over this parabola and we're going to multiply it by 2. So this graph is going to look something like this. And this is because of the property that f of x plus 1 is equal to 2 times f of x. Now when we shift a function over, the variable x is going to be mapped to x minus 1. So this parabola is going to have a graph of 2 because it's twice as tall and it's going to be multiplied by the quantity x minus 1 multiplied by the quantity x minus 2. So let's continue graphing this in the next interval. It's going to be twice the height of the graph in the interval from 1 to 2 and shift it over. So it's going to look something like this. So this parabola will have an equation 4 times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 3. We can also shift this graph to the left. It's going to be half the height. So in this interval, negative 1 to 0, it's going to be half the height. And in this interval, negative 2 to negative 1, it's going to be half the height. And the pattern continues. So looking at this graph, we want f of x to be greater than or equal to negative 8 over 9. So let's put negative 8 over 9 as a line in this graph. Let's do y is equal to negative 8 over 9. Now you'll see in the third interval from 2 to 3, it's going to intersect. So at some point, f of x is going to be less than negative 8 over 9. 
and we want to look for the points where f of x is greater than or equal to negative 8 over 9. So we're looking for this value m in which f of x is always greater than or equal to negative 8 over 9. We want to solve where this parabola's equation is equal to negative 8 over 9 and we solve for the smallest value. So let's go ahead and solve this algebra problem. But there's a little trick. You might actually guess some of the factors. Notice that 4 times 1 third times negative 2 thirds is equal to negative 8 over 9, and 4 times 2 thirds times negative 1 third is also equal to negative 8 over 9. So you can quickly see the first equation, x would be equal to 7 thirds, and the second equation, x is equal to 8 over 3. We want the smallest x value, so we just take x is equal to 7 over 3. But if you didn't see that trick, you can go ahead and solve it like you would solve a standard quadratic equation. We go ahead and factor, we end up with two results, and we want the smallest x value. So now, f of x will be greater than or equal to negative 8 over 9 if x is less than or equal to 7 over 3. So going back to the question, we want to know what is the value of m, and in our answer choices, it's going to be answer choice b, 7 over 3. And that's the answer to this very challenging problem, and it took me quite a while to solve too. But I think it's a pretty interesting problem. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.